On Wednesday, a new Boston correctional officer was attacked and killed by a prisoner. Kid case Nikki Diaz spoke to local jail staff today about just how dangerous their job is, and it is. She's live now at our news update center to tell us more about that. Yeah, Neil Casey at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning, Officer Timothy Davison was escorting a prisoner back to cell when he was assaulted. He died from his injuries. Deputies at the Rust County Jail say that every day is different, and despite training, it's always dangerous. And in a correctional environment, it's not like you can walk in and you're armed, uh, ready for an assault. The attack against a new Boston corrections officer could not have been predicted, which is part of the reason why the job is so dangerous. You're constantly yes, thinking, what if this? What if this happened? What you going to do? Are we ready for this? I mean, just any simple thing that you can think of in your mind, you have to go over it in your head. And it's going to be a split decision that you got to make. And hopefully, you make the right decision. Recently, an inmate in Rust County broke the speaker in his cell and made a weapon, creating chaos for the jailers. So I walked up to him and I told him, you need to turn around and put your hands behind your back. He swung at me, catching me in my eye, where I had to throw him to the bed and so we could restrain him. And <clears throat> I don't know, he was just wild that day. He tore my uniform, I scraped my knee up on the floor. Uh, I got pepper spray all over me as well as still having to deal with the offender, aggressive offender. Deputy Jailer Vicki Rhodes worked at the Telford unit in New Boston. She knows how prepared they have to be at any time. You have to be alert at all times. If you get complacent, a lot of things can happen. I don't know what happened in this instant, you know, in this circumstance, but you just have to be, you have to be careful, very careful. Okay. It's a maximum security prison and anything can happen at any given moment. You never know what the inmates are thinking or what, you know, what they have planned. Now, the inmate behind this attack was serving a life sentence and has a history of violent behavior in and out of prison. According to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, this wasn't his first attack against prison personnel. He has since been moved to another undisclosed maximum security prison. Reporting live in the News Update Center, Nikki Diaz, KETK News. Well, he was just out.